Hello, this is a Bits for PC video, and I'm going to be showing you today what is in my Windows 7 taskbar. Alright, we're starting with a Start button. Really simple. Everyone knows what it is, except if you use a Mac. But it's just there because it's essential. Um, and I use it a lot. Um, and you can't really get rid of it, I don't think. Let's see. Nope, you can't. Alright, then we have um, Google Chrome which is my lightning fast web browser that has a really sleek and clean interface it seems to work every time I do not regret downloading it um, thank you Google for creating one of the best products ever next is Windows Live Mail which is my email client I use this to manage both my personal Gmail account and my bits for PC email account which is bits for PC at live dot com you can email me about technology with help requ requests suggestions questions comments whatever then we have Windows Explorer which um, I've already posted a video on uh, but it didn't turn out too well and I discovered that I have microphone boost so my microphone's gonna be a little louder now so I'm gonna repost that one but this is Windows Explorer it actually has now use for the user in Windows 7 then there's Windows Media Player it plays media. What a surprise. But Google SketchUp, which is my 3D design tool, um, takes forever to load, so I'm not going to show it to you right now. I have Paint. Um, Microsoft's been using the same version of Paint since Windows 95. Fail. Well, now they've changed, and Paint has a really nice interface. It uses that ribbon that they used in Microsoft Office 07. I think they're using it in 2010, in the 2010 version too, but it's, there's Paint. Um, it's got the like. Let's see if I can find. It. Yeah, shapes. It's got all these and um, what else do I have? But circle. Well, I think cir circle is another one. Got star. Whatever that is. Oh, I already found that one. I just randomly click. I just randomly clicked on those. Um, then I've got Windows Live Movie Maker, which I use to edit my videos. I'll open it up for you. Um, same, pretty much the same interface as. Paint, same ribbon, ribbon interface, kind of like like Office. Windows Live Writer writes all my blog posts for um, bits for PC. Blogspot. Com, which you can access from bits for PC. Com. Then I have just what the image image rep the icon represents. Calculator. This is a snipping tool, which is um, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, maybe XP's too, but it's their version of a screen capture tool. So. I just capture the screen, I can scribble on it, highlight over it, write on it with a black pen, blue pen, and red pen. The blue pen right here, I'm kinda highlighting over it right now. And this custom pen are pretty much the same thing. I don't really know what the difference is. Maybe customize? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Olive. Haven't tried that before. Let's try custom pen again. There we go. Yep. That's what custom pen is. Didn't know that before. Don't save. Alright. Now we have um, Camp Studio. I can't really br I can't bring up a lot of it right now because it's what I'm recording with. But there's the main camera window. Um, you can't see it because uh, you can't really see it because it's out of the frame that you can see. But I have some flashing boundaries that are like right up here. That, um, you can't see them at all though. They show me what's in and what's out. Like that's halfway in. That's halfway in. That's kind of in. No, oh, I just bumped my other mouse. Yeah. All right. Um. I didn't want to buy Word because it costs a little too much. So I bought Open. Uh, I didn't buy. I downloaded OpenOffice.org. Now run by Oracle. It used to be made by some Microsystems, but that changed. So. Pretty much word. Then we have Google Talk, which is my chat and IM application that uses Gmail. Um, that's really it. This is pretty much video version 1.0. I might add and take out icons, but then I'll make a new video to go over what my new changes. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll have some new videos out soon.